Hi, John here, the hat guy. Yesterday, I went to uh, Amelia Island in North Florida for the Concours d'Elegance World Famous Car Show and uh, auction. I didn't go to the big events. Uh, they cost a lot more just to get in than, uh, <laughs> than I can uh, spend on an event like that. But uh, the field of... Uh, cars just outside of the event is amazing and uh, I walked through there and today I just wanted to show you some of the things that I saw that caught my attention enjoy this is just the crowd crossing the street to get to the Amelia Island Concours d'Elegance I've been forever just getting to this point I hope I don't run out of gas before I can get this thing parked. This is Amelia Island. I'm standing in front of the Ritz-Carlton at the Concours d'Elegance, Amelia Island. As you walk through, we saw all sorts of old cars. A lot of them I didn't know the names of. This particular one is uh, an MG, an early MG. And... Uh, amazing condition I, I find those beautiful I'd love to have one of those but uh, they're very tiny cars and I know that I wouldn't fit in it that's an original Mini Cooper one of the early ones and uh, there's another MG again beautiful cars I love the styling of those things that's an early Jaguar I believe it was 58 if I'm not mistaken and that's original paint by the way that uh, purple paint color was original there's another uh, MG nice use of the luggage rack there but that was kind of cool now this is nothing special it's a Mazda but the paint job on this was amazing that's uh, that's just pretty cool I took this picture mainly for my wife she wasn't with me at the time but uh, she she loved it I thought this was awesome you hardly ever see someone restore a Cadillac or yeah, a station wagon or an estate as they say in England but uh, I've always liked them I've owned a couple of them when I was younger and uh, this one is really cool I would drive that I like that it's uh, it's unusual you don't see station wagons hardly ever anymore this is a Citroen military their version of a Jeep basically it's a French car some of them I didn't really get a good look as to what they are. That one's obviously early 30s. I'm not sure exactly what it was. And of course the muscle cars. Muscle cars everywhere. I took a picture of a few of them, but uh, to be honest, that's what was all over the parking lot when I was in high school. Uh, it was a nice, uh, nice old VW uh, 23 window bus there. I love the uh, tilt-out windows on those. It's uh this is cool. This was a Hudson Terraplane, 1934, I believe. I love the grill on this thing. It's, it's an amazing grill. And uh, I, I talked to the gentleman that owns it. Uh, he, was a, he was a pretty cool guy. That's him standing right there in the coveralls. I, I didn't catch his name. And that one's obviously uh, a bunch of things put together. Pretty cool looking, though. I would lift the roof a little taller. I don't like to be cramped. <laughs> I don't really care for the chopped roofs, but somebody put a lot of time and money and effort into them. That's a 32, I believe. This was really cool. That was a 1920 Ford race car. I talked to the couple that uh, owned that, and a uh, very, very cool car. Beautiful, amazing conditions. And they, they drive it. They... Uh, they take it to events everywhere. I love the controls are on the outside of the body. I thought that was kind of neat. The steering wheel is not exactly round. And two spare tires. The tires back in the early days were questionable at best. And of course, that's just straight pipe exhaust system there. And the uh, rotometer. That's how you can tell what you're 
Coolant was doing. That's the couple that owns the car. Old uh, 55, I believe. That's uh, another 32. I don't know if the rumble seat's still attached, but I always thought those were pretty cool. Love the rumble seats. That, that paint on that car is 22 years old. Nice ragtop version. Buzzard Speed Company. That's a 32 also. Highly customized, obviously. And then we start to see some Morgans. I love the Morgans. Uh, it's a British-made car. There were quite a few Morgans there. And uh, from some older stuff, like this one, to some brand new ones. But the styling hasn't changed dramatically in, in all of their years of making them. It's, uh, it's a really cool uh, car. Yes, I love the old Morgans. Love the strap across the hood. It's uh, it's like a belt to hold everything together. But uh, very classy car. I, it's 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 a vehicle that uh, I'd love to have someday. Many many dollars away from now, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I love the styling of those those particular cars. They made a three wheeler too. I, I, interestingly enough, called the Morgan Three. This is one of them here. There were two at this event, and uh, I, I think it's cool how they have it painted up like the uh, World War II uh, fighter planes. It's because uh, it does resemble the styling of that. But uh, very cool cars, and. Uh, in Florida, at least, it's classified as a motorcycle, so it has a motorcycle license plate on it because it has three wheels. And that's a view from the back of the two they had sitting there. It's an interesting looking car. And that one's fairly modern. That's a, not an old one, that's a newer one. You'll definitely be noticed if you show up in one of those. Of course, the H1 Hummer. I've always loved those. And uh, I'm, this was a... Oh, the name is escaping me for the moment. A Vanderhall. It's a new car company. And it's Vanderhall. Very reminiscent of the uh, Morgan 3. In fact, it was sitting very close to the Morgan it's a Maybach. It is for sale, one million four hundred ninety-five thousand um, dollars. It is considerably taller than me, and I'm just shy of six foot. Uh, that's amazing. It's a V12 engine, Mercedes. 
Way too much money for me. There were only 99 of these made, and uh, this one has 75 miles on it. Uh, it's it's very impressive vehicle as far as the size. This is really cool. Somebody did a, a steampunk motorcycle. I love the the detailing on this is just phenomenal. And the wheels with the airplane propeller. I don't remember what this one was, but I really like the, uh, the style. Again, it's similar to those uh, Morgans. This was not a Morgan, though. This was uh, elsewhere on the field. And uh, older car. Oh, it's an Alfa Romeo. Okay. Wow. Very cool Alfa Romeo. There was a lot of Alfa Romeos there. Most of them were a lot newer than this one. This is a prototype car that uh, they're actually going into production on. I never got the name of it. Uh, it says Indy Special on the engine, but uh, I don't know what the car is called. Uh, they had two of them sitting there. This was the prototype, and uh, the other one is not here. That's the bus. This is the other one um, that is a production model. I have no idea at all what kind of price tag or anything on them. Not sure what this one is, but I love it. Oh, this is a Mercer. This was a 1914 Mercer made in Pennsylvania, or in New Jersey, rather. Uh, this is the only one of these left of that particular model of Mercer. It's the only one in existence. Um, a gentleman from Maryland owns it. And uh, spoke to him for a few minutes. That's uh, him sitting at the uh, chair in the distance. Beautiful car. This is 1914. That's that's amazing to me. That's that was the most advanced styling in 1914 of any vehicle. This is the second car that same man owned. This is a Stutz 1915 Stutz. So those two cars would be contemporaries. Even though this one is a little bit newer, the Mercer was a little bit more advanced. But uh, very cool cars. Very cool. Love the styling of these things and just the, the, the controls mounted on the outside and just the, the seats were designed for comfort. And it's the design of an automobile has changed dramatically over the years. And uh, I think we've lost a lot. <laughs> we've gained a lot, don't get me wrong. This is a Bugatti. I didn't catch the year. It's clearly an early one, but uh, that's that's a Bugatti. That is a 1955 Mercedes-Benz barn find in its barn find condition. That'd be the same year that they did the gull wing, but the convertible obviously did not have a gull wing. Some old Corvettes. That's a beautiful Corvette. Porsche race car. Another Mini. There was a lot of Porsches there. I think there were more Porsches and Mercedes than anything, although there was a lot of uh, Alfa Romeos too. That is a 1958 Volkswagen Bug, but it has a 200 horsepower Porsche engine in the back of it. That's obviously an early Porsche engine, but 200 horsepower Bug. That's a uh, that was a Maserati with a uh, anime on the hood. <laughs> Not sure what this is. I, I got a shot of the name of it, but it's I, I don't know what that is. It's uh, it's an unusual car. I like it. It reminds me of the uh, Plymouth Prowler, but I don't think that's what it was. It says uh, Penaz Roadster. Don't know what that means. Clearly, it's not an old car. It's new under the hood. Everything. That was, I believe that one's a Cadillac. 
both of those rather, Cadillacs. That's an old, uh, um, uh, oh, the name is escaping me now. Chevy wagon, 55, I believe. That's a, uh, <clears throat> that's a Maybach. Not a Maybach. McLaren. Getting my, getting my words mixed up here. Those are McLarens. High-end European sports car. Unusual styling, that's for sure. That one is, you know, the doors are crazy. And these are some Alphas and some Porsches. I was running out of time and had to hurry through this section. But I got pictures of a few of them. Another Alpha. Styling on some of these Alpha Romeos are amazing. That's an early Alpha Romeo. Well, not an early one, but a older one anyway. Both of those cars are. So is that. You can tell by the uh, um, the shape of the uh, grill on those. Uh, they're always the same. Now that's a modern gullwing Mercedes. They styled it after the 55. It's a Mercedes uh, SUV of some sort. Old Chevrolet pickup truck. I didn't catch the year, but that would be 48 to 53. Um, not 100% sure what that was. This is an old Cadillac uh, town car. This is a replica of a 1886 Benz. Amazing car. Doesn't have a steering wheel. That 
another alpha. after each one of the really old cars. There's a little bit of a hill here that they have to climb. Some of them are struggling. There's a Smokey and a Band of Trans Am. You don't see many of those anymore, especially in that kind of shape. And here comes some more Porsches. The Porsches are really popular at this event. Beautiful Alfa Romeo right there. That's an old Alpha also. License plate said one of three. <coughs> Alpha Romeo. That's an older Porsche. That's a rally car Porsche. That's a rally Porsche. Rally tracks are a lot of them off. Here we go. GTO Grand Prix. Grand Prix, rather. Beautiful. A lot of Porsches. There was a lot of Mercedes here today. Weren't as many of the old cars as I really like, like that old Pontiac. That is beautiful. Another old Alpha. Fairly new Alpha Romeo. And a Porsche. Those are cool. You definitely see the Volkswagen heritage in them in those. 